Today I'm going to be talking about OAuth 2 refresh tokens. In my last video I talked about the OAuth protocol and how you can use it to gain access to a user's third party account data. As part of the authentication process you will get an access token which allows you to refresh protective resources from the server. Access tokens are generally short lived. This is for security reasons so that any attacker will have a shorter period of time in which to perform an attack. Once an access token has expired, you will need to refresh it. Technically, you don't refresh the old access token. You use the refresh token to get an entirely new access token. First of all, let's review how you obtain a refresh token. First, make a request to the authorization server with your grant and credentials you'll get back an access token and a refresh token. This refresh token should be stored. When your access token expires, you'll need the refresh token so that you can obtain a new access token. Let's say that we request a protected resource sometime in the morning. We make an API call passing in the access token. You'll get a response containing the protected resource. Let's say that we try to request another protected resource later on in the day. Usually you won't know that an access token has expired when you try to request the resource. You make a request to the resource server with the access token. But you get back an invalid token error. At this point, you know that you need to use the refresh token to get a new access token. You make a request with the refresh token and client credentials. You'll get back an access token and optionally a new refresh token. Not all OAuth providers will return a new refresh token, but if they do, you should discard the old refresh token and store the new one. Some OAuth providers only allow refresh tokens to be used once. Others allow them to be used multiple times. However, the new refresh token is always preferred because it will have a longer expiry time. Now you have a new valid access token, you can request the protected resource from the resource server. Thanks for listening. I hope you found this useful.